How do you add to your experience section on your LinkedIn profile in 2022? If you have been following some of the videos I have sharing here on YouTube, you'll have noticed that the LinkedIn uh, profile has changed and it's not quite as clear cut and simple to find the things that we knew before. So I am going to dive into LinkedIn now and show you how you can now add previous experience to your LinkedIn profile using the new menu options. If you're new to this channel, please do hit subscribe. And if you have any questions on how to use LinkedIn, um, then please put them in the comments below because I would be delighted to answer them with a video to help you. So here we are over on LinkedIn and I'm going to go straight to the profile. So you can go and click on view profile here or you can click on your name over here. It doesn't really matter. So let's click on our profile. Uh, not the profile, the head cover photo. That was interesting. That's another slightly different version. <laughs> so to update your profile, if we scroll down through your profile, there's two ways to do this. You can go um, up to, um, sorry, scroll down through your profile and the drop down options appear here. It says add profile section. So click on add profile section and you will now see that the options that show in here are add to your profile core, recommended and additional. So LinkedIn have now put um, all of our options into these three different categories. So what we're looking for here is to add experience to your LinkedIn profile. So if we click on the core section, instead of saying add experience, it says add position. So click on add position. And this is where you can now add in a position. So for example, if I say content writer, As my new position, senior content writer. Um, employment type, full time. Uh, company, I'm working at my own company. So you just type in the company you're working at here and you will see them appear in a drop down list to make sure you select the right one. If you have a location, are you currently in this role? When did you start? Oh gosh, when did I start? Many, many moons ago, um, 2013. And I'm not ending any of my previous um, experiences. And I go down, headline is the same, industry is the same. And in here, in description, I will write um, content creation for clients, posts, videos, um, articles, and newsletters. Yeah. Document posts and all those other things. We'll not put it all in just now. Um, you can add in a link in here if you want someone to be able to uh, see varieties of your work or add in a link here and I can put in, put in your HTTPS because it's going to make it easier for people to find you and for people who want to work with me. Um, click on add and there you'll see, okay, LinkedIn. services okay and we'll hit apply and then we'll put save so this is now adding that role to my experience section what you want to do now is make sure it's sitting in the right place on your profile so if we scroll down to the experience section here here we are and it's now showing us as the top piece in here so i have my various roles that i do in my business underneath the business so consultant and trainer content writer, mastermind host, et cetera, et cetera. So if we go in and click on the pencil here, um, what we want to do is, this is really handy, this moving things around, reorder is the correct word. So I can say, all right, well, content writer, I'll pull that down below my podcasting. So I'm a consultant, I have a mastermind, a podcast, I'm a content writer, I write for social media examiner, Profile writing, I don't really do that anymore. Uh, guest speaker, and let's click that. And we can see that information in here. So um, now you'll see that, that little link is pulled up in here as well. So that is how you now add to your experience section on LinkedIn it is by adding a position as opposed to add experience. I know it's been causing a few people 
a, bit, a few issues. So I thought that was why I would make this video. Um, if you find this useful, then do hit subscribe below, leave me a comment, share it with somebody you think would find it useful. And I look forward to helping you with your next question on how to use LinkedIn for business.